Hi, this is Pete, your Kickserve support guy. This video will demonstrate how to use custom fields. So here in the upper right hand corner you see the gear. You can hover over the gear or click on it. If your account is set up for custom fields, you will see this link, custom fields. I've clicked on it. It brings me to the custom fields page. So our custom fields are broken up into two main groups, your customer fields and your job fields. So the customer fields and job fields then have different types of fields within them. So for the text you have a text one line option, you have a long or multiple line option and a pick list option. You also have this option to organize your custom fields. So after all our built-in fields, you have the option to organize all of your custom fields in the order you want them. So if you do list them all out here as such, but then you decide you want this field here to be number one, you just simply make it number one and make this number three or whatever. So your one-line text will just be that, something you're going to type in from the field. A multi-line text field just be a bigger box. And the pick list will look like this. It will give you the option to put in the different choices you have here. So you can remove these if you like and put in your own, just as you want. You know, red, green, whatever it is. Yes or no. <clears throat> So that's how you set up the custom fields. Come to the bottom, hit update. So now what you're going to see these is when you go in to make a new customer or a new job, depending on what custom fields you just created, you'll see these new custom fields after our built-in fields. So in this case, they're after special instructions. These are my custom fields. These are the examples. So this is a, an example of one line text. Um, and this would be the example of a date field that I created. These would be like little drop downs. Here's my account F pick list drop down, the red, green, blue, and yes and no. Okay. And then here's a mul an example of a multi line, so a bigger box. So if I was to create this, which I won't, I'll show you from an, another customer point of view that I already have filled out. So let's just take my ABC graphic company. And where I'll see these custom fields now for my customers are under the additional information tab. Again, I come down here after my built-in fields and you'll see now here's my custom fields. I don't have any filled out but to add information to those I would then edit the customer details and then I could come down here and choose my account F which is going to be green or a date field fill in the dates and so forth click Save And now when I go back to additional information, you will see that now I have the F field as green and my customer since field filled out. And so you can report on these custom fields. So if I was to go into the report tab and I wanted to create a new custom report and a new custom customer report, these custom fields will be options. So you can see under step two of creating a custom report, here are my custom fields down here. So I can report on them. And that's custom fields uh, very quickly. I hope that helps.